First button hit, and hey. it works. Hey! <laughs> I accidentally went live on my uh, personal channel because that's how we had it set up from the last time. So, wah, wah. Wah, wah. here we are. We um, were like, we like that so much, we want to do it again. And we have a little bit more things now. We've got an iPad. I can we can see people chatting. David, I see you. <laughs> I see you too. Well, no, I don't see you. <laughs> I see your your text. And we have a barley, and we have a new camera. There's a oh. barley down there. Hey. Hey, bud. Say hello. Who are we talking to? Are you saying hello? Yes. <laughs> so we uh, we took some suggestions from friends and family, and we honestly just want to say again, thank you so much, guys, for being a part of uh, our Friday night, but also part of our kitchen and cooking with us uh, virtually, drinking first, with us. First question, what's the secret drink word? Do we have to establish a new word every single stream? I think so. All right. Cactus. Well, cactus. You because know why? there's one right here. Thanks to OJ. It's spiky. But she look cute. It's a nice little cactus. <laughs> we'll keep that up there. What else? What else we got going on? No one likes that guy that types first as the first comments. <laughs> Stephen Harvey. Hi. Hello. Ryan, how's it going? All right, so we got some things. Um, barley's in the way. Tonight we are going to be making Korean sticky ribs. We were kind of inspired. We went to a restaurant called Agi's. Super amazing. Which is in Hotel Metro downtown. And it's, it's Agi's named after the Ogden family in Milwaukee, so. But it was a really, really, really great, well-composed dish. So it's our first attempt, so please bear with us. Chicken, hello. <laughs> if, we, uh, if we stumble on a couple of things, but we uh, loved it so much, and we want to make it again. And we also turned down the latency, hopefully, this time. So Nyla says hi. Hi, Nyla. How are you, Mama? So hopefully it's a little bit shorter of a latency this time for when we see your comments and you hear us. Um, responding respond to them so and then the second thing we're making yes so we're gonna do uh, to, to be composed with the, the Korean sticky ribs we're gonna do a shiitake broccoli uh, roast with a nice uh, sweet soy sesame sauce so, so we have all our stuff here you can see all of our mise en place mise en place which we are going to tell you what it means again so oh barley barley down. dude you gotta go come on man here I'll give him a treat Give him a treat. <laughs> Anyways, our the name of the show, mise en place, which is a French word for like gathering. Was it to gather? Gathering yes. everything, getting everything ready. So getting all your stuff ready for your meal, which is all right here. So essentially this is uh, our tools, our pieces to, well, compose a dish cohesively. And that's the, the whole goal. And it's going to be something too with uh, that we do with beverage. Alcohol Give me the beverage. ingredients for the rib glaze. So it's like a hoisin glaze. It's going to have hoisin sauce. It's going to have show the label. Honey. Honey. Uh, are we even seeing this in here? Yeah. Honey. Let's, let's move this. If you could perhaps maybe bring it closer to the camera, they can really see it. Get yeah, like a nice so zoomer. Honey, we got this one too. This camera. There we go. Beautiful. Honey. Uh, hoisin sauce, uh, soy sauce, ginger, which uh, we just have this tube of ginger. We go through it a lot, and it's chili nice. garlic, sesame, uh, and rice vinegar. And then we have sesame seeds to kind of top it at the end. Um, yeah, what else we got going on here? Video quality is so much better. Well, that's awesome. You know, sometimes. It takes a couple tries at stuff, and <laughs> we did it. And then, well, and then we it. did it. <laughs> so then we're also making uh, special drinks here. Well, that's not special, but it's just watch yourself. Yes. Watch yourself. It's just one of my uh, faves, and Kale loves it too. Um, and we've together collectively we've become big tequila drinkers. So I'm super excited about this one, especially because, well, drinking reposado it reminds me of home. Drinking it with my dad. Um, we like to drink a lot of it. <laughs> and well, also too, Jaritos is one of my favorite sodas. Um, I don't really drink pops, <laughs> uh, 
but I do love to drink uh, this particular one. So Jaritos, there's actually a real big supply chain on them. This is grapefruit? Yeah, grapefruit. Grapefruit. So anyways, mumbo jumbo, um, reposado, you know, tequila can only be made in Mexico. Um, it comes from blue agave. And when you're buying tequila, it's not about buying the most expensive tequila. It's about buying a tequila that's 100% agave. Um, because then it's got all this added crap in it that you don't want to drink and well, gives you a really bad hangover. Uh, for some, for me, I wake up chipper as no other. Uh, but yes, Reposado has this really beautiful gold color to it um, that I personally love. And aromatics come from also the oak that it's aged in. So you can age Reposado from anywhere from three months to a year before it's actually bottled. Um, that's why it's not so dark compared to like a Añejo, or Añejo can be anywhere from a year aged to three years, um, but it's a very small batch. They only age them in like liters, um, hence, well, Añejo. Uh, but Reposado in Spanish, if you don't know, means rusted. So we're not going to really rust this beverage, we're going to drink it probably really fast. Um, so Rusted probably like between repo and añejo oh no i, I was repo silly. because i know but <laughs> because it's just kind of like it sits in the barrels and then yes. and it's done yeah it's like a kiss yeah you know a nice like a rose for instance you know it got that nice little pink color to it anyway so palomas are grapefruit lime is that what it comes in or is that special container that's just a special container oh yeah it's my favorite to cancer uh, this is just a uh, jose cuervo um i just like it because it's a cool boat uh, Amazon, you know, they get you with those little knickknacks. But it looks pretty for a presentation versus just having a bunch of booze bottles, which if you've been to our house, you'll definitely see that a lot. So for the salsa, we've got, uh, we're gonna make a salsa verde, so we've got the tomatillos, uh, we've got onion, um, jalapeno, and lime, and garlic and salt and pepper, and lots of cilantro, because I will have cilantro for days. Um, so we already have our oven going. We preheated the oven to 275. So these ribs aren't your traditional like low and slow rib. It's, um, it's gonna be kind of, we'll bake it for a little bit and then we are going to deep fry it. And that's gonna give it like a nice crispy shell yeah. with the glaze. Go. And we've got our uh, water boiling already for the salsa. So, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make the drinks. Yay! While that stuff is going, Jazz is going to make us some drinks because we need something to sample. And well, just uh, wet the whistle. So you're going to start off with the juices. So you're going to do... Oh, I dropped it. You're going to do... Um, basically, it's a quarter ounce of simple half an ounce of citrus. Um, you're gonna do two ounces of grapefruit juice and then two ounces of soda water. But because we have jaritos, I'm gonna omit that last two steps. I'm just gonna add the soda, so we're gonna do total four ounces. And can I peek in real quick? Yes. I'm actually going to take the ribs out, which have been marinating, because we gotta get these baking, because these are gonna bake for 30 minutes. Yay. Um, so we have them kind of marinating in the same sort of glaze that we're going to glaze them with except it's a little bit thinner the glaze is going to have a little bit more honey a little bit more thick thickness and we're actually going to cook the glaze too so it gets nice and thick and, and delicious so i'm going to put these in a pan and i'm going to stick them in the oven and you can watch me do that while jazz talks to you about um the drinks that she's making yeah cool so starting off I'm going to start off with the lime. So remember I said half an ounce, but since I'm making two, I'm going to do a full ounce. Plus, Kale really likes it limey, so that's why I don't really measure it. I just put a full boy in there. So it's just half. My trick is I always like to roll them out before I squeeze them because you really get the juices coming out. And then I'm going to do, you could do either simple syrup. I always have simple syrup on in, in house in the fridge. But you could also just use agave. Considering tequila's from agave, that's the nice thing to do. So you're gonna do um, a quarter ounce for a single pour, but we're both drinking it, so I'm gonna do half an ounce. And now my favorite part, tequila. Yes. So 
They say to use two ounces, ounce and a half, but I'm gonna do three ounces. So I'm gonna do a total of six ounces. And Barley's licking the garbage, which is normal. <laughs> you can't, come on, come on. You can get sick. So you guys are gonna notice that I didn't use, um, I didn't put the soda in here yet because, well, you're not gonna shake anything that's carbonated. It'll explode on you. Or you could. You could, but it'll be really ugly. It'll be fun. So I'm gonna put some ice cubes in here. And you notice too, I didn't put my ice um, he didn't glass. slap the meat. Oh, dang ah. it. <laughs> I, I slapped it. Wait, let's see. I was about to say I slapped it earlier, but that's going to sound bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't. So back to non slapping meat. Because <laughs> Kale likes to slap all the meat. I went ahead. I put the ice in here last because I didn't want to water down the cocktail. Cool. So now I'm going to shake her up. Put this ice away. Please. So you never want to shake too much because then you water her down. You want to taste everything. Now, thank you, Clayton. I use these tools a lot. And Angie. And Angie. Oh, this is, I got a, this thing has a 30 minute timer. So it makes you kind of watch it. So now. For safety, obviously. I'm just pouring these off. And I'm straining them because I use fresh lime juice. And you don't have to, but I kind of like to. And then you just top her off. So if you really want. I'll get us a little grapefruit shiggies. Yes, the zest are right here, love. I was going to get us. You want that or you want slices? I want a zest. OK, I'm going to zest and I'm going to slice me. OK. So anybody like Palomas? <laughs> I love this one. I'm going to figure out uh, which cameras are which so fresh. eventually. And then what I'll do is I'll put my little turner in here and just turn her up a little bit. I normally do myself just a little extra grapefruit on the top because it's good that way. <laughs> you could do the same to me. Why not? And that's it. Yeah. And Anybody afraid do a of tequila in this group? Let's see. Who likes it? Jeff? I would certainly try one. I would try one. I'll make you one. Nelly, your dad certainly does. Oh, yes. We were drinking them on my birthday, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What and there we go. And I sometimes will take a little shiggity of cilantro because it looks cool. And cilantro is amazing. You guys could also salt the rim. Um, but we're kind of easy with the salt. And then... More grapefruit, yeah. All right. Okay. Here you go. Cheers. Cheers, love. Cheers, guys. Cactus. Mmm. Yeah, that's freaking good. Oh my wow. god, that's so good. <laughs> that's so... Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, back mm. to. I love Palomas. I like <laughs> them when Kale makes them for me. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Um, now we have to kind of. Doing stuff for the other stuff. And I went with a wired cable, so you gotta watch yourself again. Yes. Because it's way lower latency. I was gonna do, uh, ooh, I just took a screenshot. That's fun. All right, so what's our, what's our first step, love? Okay, so I'm gonna actually start making the sticky sauce. And I you're on the cable again. A really bad cut on my hand. See if I can get this going. All right. Okay. So this one I has- I love Palomas. <laughs> so it's got soy sauce, hoisin sauce, sesame oil. Let's see this one. Let's get all that stuff over here. Honey, lots of honey. So cool thing about honey, it's delicious in your food, right? But if you ever cook it, it will burn quickly. So you have to be careful. That's why Kale said he put a little bit on the ribs to marinate. Because once he puts them in the onion, the onion. <laughs> the once oven, I put them in the onion. If you put them in the oven, the onion oven, um, if the heat's too high, you'll really get a nasty char taste to it that you don't want. It's not cute. Okay. Cool. So we have this. 
chili garlic, sambal, honey, barley, oh, barley, barley just barb. burped, Look at poison, and sesame seed oil, sesame oil. Okay. We got our water going already for the salsas. So while Kale is making the sauce, wait, how much, how much of sauce are you going to uh, It's about a quarter cup. Quarter cup? Yeah. What about this? Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> about bleh. That's about like that. <laughs> and then honey is also about a bleh. So is that also a quarter cup? Yeah, it's about a quarter cup. Okay. This is going to be a little bit thicker, like I said, than the marinade. A little sesame oil. So what did you do, though? About did a you... tablespoon. Tablespoon. And then this, this depends on how much you want of a spice. And we all know that kale likes a hot. So we do about a tablespoon. And oops. That's about a tablespoon. And that's going to be Jasmine and I <laughs> in about two hours. <laughs> and then we just stir it up. It's okay. The sweetness will cut it. It'll help me. My heartburn will only be so bad. Perks about being 30 now. And we'll just let that kind of get warm. Barley down. Come on. This actually doesn't look like it's get over enough. Here. I'm going to do a double batch so we can have some like dipping too. Barley, you're losing your rights of being in the kitchen. And also because I think I did put a little bit too much sambal in there. <laughs> did, did I just hear those words? No. Yes. <laughs> Which, is this mine? Uh, yours is to the left. That one's, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll just make this more. It's like when we drink wine together, right? Oh my God, that's so good. Glasses get mixed up really quickly. But I could always tell... What time did I put the... Hey, can anybody tell me what time I put the ribs in? This is important because I totally forgot. I didn't <laughs> set a timer. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. Salsa. We can start making salsa because we can eat this while we're cooking. Cool. So... So these tomatillos are kind of sticky. Do you guys know the what little... a tomatillo is? I don't, but I really like to eat them. I'm going to put a chair over here instead of this garbage. So the cool thing is you could see tomatillos look like a green tomato, but they have this really gnarly skin on it. Um, this like crunchy skin, but underneath it is a really soft, fleshy um, vegetable. We had hoisin pork stir fry last night. Ooh. Five or 10 minutes ago. Okay, so like, so like 5.15, let's say. So yeah. 545, we'll take them out. Oh, cool. It's okay. So yeah. Are they a member of the cherry family? Well, aren't tomatoes kind of like that too? Um, so I'm not too sure. That's a, that's a I don't know. fun fact. All right, who's going to Google this for us and find out? Learning Ooh, moment. this one's really gross. I know. It's like stuck. So yes, yeah, it's the gross part. See, it sticks to your fingers. I have to wash this one. It's off. like when we took down our Christmas tree today, guys, and we were trying to remove um, the tree from our, our living room, and there are needles everywhere. Needles everywhere! Like holy moly, it was insane. I was so like mortified, but it was also the stickiness on the tree. What is that called? The sap. The sap. That's kind of like this. It's exactly like this. And I don't know why I've never done it like this before underwater because it makes it way better. Holy crap. We're learning things. Do you want to do this one? Because this is like all up on my fingers. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. This Great. makes it Teamwork. so much better. Teamwork. All right. Does anyone have a preference if they like green salsa or red salsa? I always used to be a red salsa guy, like forever, until we started making green salsa. And it's amazing. Can't make salsa versus... I think he meant salsa verde. Oh, yeah. You okay, can't. so this is... Is this boiling? No. It will be in a second once I jam it. Where's the where's the, the, the onion? Right Over here. here. <laughs> it's the one that looks like an onion. It's this one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so we're only going to do a half an onion. As you can tell, Kale is very patient with me. <laughs> right? Yeah, right, right. of course. <laughs> I'm probably the most patient person that anyone has ever met. <laughs> and that can be confirmed by multiple sources. <laughs> multiple. 
Green sauce is your favorite. My wife's telling me she peels tomatillos under water. Wait, what? Under running water. Under running water. Says they peel easier. Yeah, absolutely. It's amazing. Rory, OMG, I'm on. Hi. Hey. You made it. <laughs> okay. So. So if you just are joining us, we are in the middle of peeling the tomatillos. Mm -hmm. We have the ribs in. Uh, the ribs are in. We can take a peek at them. Not much to see. This is the poison sticky rib sauce. The ribs are in there. They're going to cook for about half hour. We're boiling now here for the, uh, the, the tomatillos, which I will throw in there. I'll hold the lid open. You got it? One, two, three. And don't burn yourself don't splash and i will try not to drop the phone so these are really like bright green now they're gonna turn a little more of like a like a hunter green a hunter green olive green when they're ready to go kind of like the color of my pants so why don't you tell everyone yeah. um where you got inspired with the salsa from i got inspired from this salsa from your dad because my dad's salsa is so it was amazing good. and we wanted to make it all the time so we got the <laughs> ingredients and we just started making it and so Kayla has officially become a salsa pro. He made, was it your Chipotle salsa? That was like super amazing. Ugh. And I'm a crazy like citrus and cilantro person. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I do differently is just put a crap ton of lime and a crap ton of cilantro in. As you can see, we have a little bit going on here right now. <laughs> it's a big old bushum. We got a little bit of cilantro. It's three bushes. <laughs> yeah. We got a little bit. All right, so while we're boiling that, can I do the guacamole? Valentha, hey! <laughs> yeah, you can start the guacamole. Uh, I will give you a camera. You can do it right here. Great. So, getting my guacamole ready, cutting the avocados. Boom, boom. Let's, so, let's get a three cam. Here we go. I'm doing three avocados because I will fly through guac. I'll put it in my sandwich. I will eat it with my eggs. I will eat it at night, and Kale and I will sit on the couch watching. Oh my God, your put mother. it on everything. <laughs> so my key thing is, because we're gonna obviously have leftovers, save one of the pits so your avocado doesn't oxidize. It will a little bit, but it kind of slows the process down. So- Where's put, my Paloma? Put your knife in there, shimmy her out. So save her one off to the side. Oh everything... my god, I'm sorry, this is so good. Everything else we can... No. I can't even think about this anymore. I'm so glad you like it. It's so, light here. after doing that, I'm gonna start scooping them. Scooping them? Scoop, scoop, scooping them. <coughs> Do you need a bowl? Uh, yes, please, ma'am. Uh, which one would you want, this this one? Uh, that, that'd be good. Actually, no, give me a more flat one, because I'm gonna use the, the masher. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I like to get my avocados and... I like to kind of ripen them myself because- Love avocados. Want some salsa. Tim, what's up? Oh my God, so I, I always I always hated avocados. Honestly, I never really liked them. It made me really sad when I found out about Until this. Until Jasmine. My heart was broken. I love the salsa <laughs> verde you guys make, so good. Oh my God. I eat it every day. thanks. Next so these are kind of- We have to make ceviche for everyone. These are bubbling. This is also bubbling. You can see this is starting to do its thing. I'm gonna put this low. And that's gonna be the glaze for the ribs. We'll continue to watch these tomatillos go. The, um, the deep fryer is set to 350 degrees. The oven is set to 275. And as what we're doing again, we're doing uh, like Korean hoisin, like sticky ribs. Uh, traditionally, you do a rib like low and slow. So you, you know, really low temperature forever. This one's a little different. We're gonna do it low temperature for about 30 minutes only. And then we're going to flash fry them to get a nice like crunchy outer shell. Mm -hmm. And then put that sticky glaze on there and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be finger looking good. <laughs> 
All right, so you're probably wondering, what the heck, Chaz? Why did you cut your jalapeno? Ceviche like with plantain chips. Yeah. Yeah. My biggest problem, and I won't eat guac the second day because of the lime I use makes it brown. What's the deal? Didn't you, if you put the... Yeah, so I, we, again... The we, pit in, it'll... We, it helps. So we're soakers for lime, so we put a buttload of lime, and then we put the pit in, and that just helps. And then sealing it right away. Don't let it sit out and oxidize and let that like that natural oxygen just like completely tear it up. Another thing you can do with this salsa, which I've done before too, and it kind of makes it a little smoky, is instead of boiling the tomatillos, I will take and char them on the grill. And then I'll char them along with the jalapenos and the onion. Just char it all and then blend it up. So you're probably wondering, Jazz, what the heck? Why didn't you take any of the seeds out? Well, I don't. Because I love it. Because Kayla loves it. And I just suck it up. <laughs> and if it's too spicy, I just add a little extra salt. That's like the kick to help with um, omitting the, the heat. It kind of, not omitting, but controlling the heat. So I mincing it up, really just opening up those uh, little seeds. This shit's gonna be hot, I could smell it. The one thing we got <laughs> differently this time is we have this iPad so we can read the chat easier. But I feel like we need a big, like, we need to turn the TV around. And we could read and it, yeah. put the chat on the screen. Yeah. Because then we would have to, like, look at it. We do oh, have another on. TV. We do. It's under we the just, bed. We could put it over there. All right, so I put the avocado. I put the avocado and jalapenos in there. I haven't mushed them yet because I want to mush them together. All right. So I'm not going to. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use red onion. So... I use a red onion because that's what my dad does. Another thing we're gonna have is broccoli. As you know, you gotta have a vegetable. Says, this was a more of a last minute kind of says spur, someone. spur of the moment thing. Um, I was like, what vegetable are we making? And Kale's like, so Maybe sad. I'll leave it out. Maybe I leave it out too long. You know your sister Leah takes three hours to eat a 30 minute meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> So I don't understand why. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, do a rough chop of these broccolis while we're waiting. And my favorite way to chop the broccoli, let's see if we can get this in here. Kale does a really cool job chopping up his broccoli. It's just really, I just like the individual stalks and I kind of split them in half. I like to keep them on, I keep them like long. Cause I love broccoli and the whole part is just Basically, Amazing. you have minimal waste, though. If yeah, you, I just cut the little end off. If you cut it right... And then I just slice them in half like that. That's why I love broccolini so much, because they're, they're long. Do you know what broccolini is? What? It's a hybrid of asparagus and broccoli. Is it? Mm-hmm. Freaking scientist. Do you get asparagus pee with it? No, I definitely don't. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I told Kale, I'm like... Maybe this might be TMI for the, for the entire group, but I'm like, I think I might need him to help me go pee on our wedding day because I'm going to be eating asparagus. What was that thing? Didn't What was that contraption that you saw? Oh, yeah. So you can get an Ikea bag and you can make a hole in it and it holds your dress up. And basically it helps you from getting your wedding dress into the toilet. But do you have to wear the bag the whole time? Um, when you pee? Yeah. I don't know. I might have to play around and experiment. <laughs> All right. Vinegar, so, it keeps from turning. Do you put vinegar in the in the guac, really? I don't. The more you know. Who did that? I want to. That's like, what my dad said. Good idea. Okay, cool. All right, so the these are getting pretty much done. I'm gonna turn those off, and we're gonna strain them so they can start cooling. So I used a quarter of a red onion, and now I'm using half a tomato. But the most important thing is, I don't mind it. You can remove some of the water out of here, depending on who you're feeding. Sometimes people don't like all the extra juice. So you could scoop this out, but I can eat a tomato like an apple. You don't have to do that. So you scoop this out, and it just comes out with your finger. You see how they kind of turned a little bit less bright green? 
scooping her out. I'm scooping her out. And some people say wait to blend everything together until they cool, but I'm like, nah. Nah. It just might explode everywhere. I just cool them off a little bit with the water. So... And they're actually a lot softer now, so I usually take my hand and make it like this so it's not putting a like a hard stream of water on it. What did, what did Brian say? How's the cactus? Oh, how is the oh, cactus doing? Cactus. Ah. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god. You guys, I need to make this. I need to make this in a batch. So Kayla What's smoky in there? Hmm? Something tastes smoky. Something tastes smoky? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know either. But that's okay. It's good though. All right, so we're gonna do, we can we can make this also now, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna turn this so we I'm can. I'm just chopping up over here, guys, don't worry. Yeah. So we'll do the salsa. We've got our mixer. And we'll throw everything in there. And we'll make a mess with the water, which is fine. Kale making a mess? Never. Where's that onion that I chopped? Right here. Right here. I'm gonna chop it a couple more times. I'm gonna just quarter it. So why do you put some while you boil it and then some later on? Because I feel like I like the taste of the onion and the jalapeno raw, like, cause it gives it more of like a- A bite, right? A bite, yeah. It's more of, I don't know, when you cook something, I feel it takes, at least in water. I really like a charred jalapeno, it's amazing. But I like it just kinda mm -hmm. raw. So we're good now with all these, right? I can use, I can use these? Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna kinda do that and just throw these in there. Throw those in there, we'll do some lime. Oop, don't chop my fingers off. I will try not to. For salsa, I really don't care about how nice the cuts are, guys, or guacamole. I kind of just mush it up all together. I'm also gonna take the um, broccoli and I'm gonna put drizzle olive oil on it and just salt and pepper for the roasting because we will add beep, beep. a, uh, hold on, let me just do this real quick. Yep. Jazz is going to make a sauce for the broccoli, <laughs> and we are going to use that. We've got one thing. Oh, the ribs smell so good. Oh my god, yeah, that smells really freaking good. Holy crap. Cactus is today's bicycle. Yep, you did. I want to try that drink. Tim, uh, if you didn't... Cactus. Right here, this is... <laughs> I have great tamales recipes for you. Oh my God, tamales? Interested in your dad's salsa verde recipe, I'll have to text him. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. And the playoffs are on. How are you gonna go live during the playoffs? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, the Packers aren't playing yet, so we gotta oh. wait till next week. <laughs> wait, who said that? We gotta wait till next week. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, you shouldn't have said Valenta. He's a hardcore Bears fan. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Start some <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Where's the green squeezer? Right here. Oh, you have it. Oh, okay. I cut some for you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're the best. All right, so we're doing this again. We're putting crap load of lime in there. How much is a crap load? <laughs> Grr. A crap load, uh, it's about two limes. These are juicy. These are good. These are big juicy ones, yeah, I know. Sometimes it's hard to tell. You try to feel if they're going to be juicy or not, but sometimes they're just bad. Okay. Well, lime season is kind of not its best right now. And then literally I just take this cilantro and just... Plam. Blam. In there. And then we do a little garlic, which I'll get a spoon. Mm, that sauce is on point. Like about a, a clove. That's about a clove. Clove and a half. Clove, Clove and a million. Clove and a half. Shlub it up, shlub it up, I'm cactusing without you. <gasps> Rude. <laughs> that means you have to double sip. And then salt and pepper. God, why 
are they so delicious? We should have a, a taco night. Oh this, my God, this yes. This is what we're doing. Dad, you're bringing your uh, bicep I wasn't paying plate, attention. And what? we're making tacos. What peppers are in the salsa? Um, just jalapenos, two of them, whole. But well, if you want, you can use serranos too. Yeah, I, I actually eyed up the, the habaneros when I was at the store and I was like, no. Um, yeah, no, I would die. <laughs> <laughs> so I just put this in and then we'll just. Oh, you need salt, buddy. I did, I put salt in. You put salt, okay. Yeah. And then just get everything going. And that's just about good. And we will see. We'll see for sure. Can I have a cheap? Um, I'm busy. You are? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. All right, let's see here. I'm eating. <laughs> oh my God. Is it good? Let me try. Mm -mm. You wouldn't like it. I'm gonna have to have it all to myself. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go. Ah! Holy crap. Drop the chip. Oh my god, it's hot. Mmm! Ah! Woo hoo! That, bur <coughs> that burns my face. <laughs> you guys need powered salt and pepper grinders. What? Her. Time to check on the meat. Oh yeah, 544. Thanks, Nelly. <laughs> Wait, kill. Oh yeah, shoot. No, no, it's okay. No, no, no. No, it's okay. We're gonna do the salsa in this fancy I can put the guac in that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put the guac in that one. Yeah, okay. Okay. Because there's a lot of salsa. <laughs> Look like, how much salsa we made. Who wants salsa? Come on over. Literally, it's so much salsa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check on the meat. Wait, let me do my... Oh, wait. Yes, you're right. Let's just check it real quick. Check, check, check. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, that's probably... It's been a half hour, right? Okay, so where should I put that? Let's put it over here. I'll take that out. Take it, take it, take it out. Can I have cork? You, of course, you can. So, hmm. heavy. Okay. Actually, I probably just need to do this over here because I need to slice them. So normally when you like bake the ribs, it's going to be, you bake it all together. I'm but... just going to sit right here and just okay. snack a little bit. I'll watch. I'm going to cut these ribs. Mm. This also Ooh, is that was a mistake. Ah. <laughs> Did you touch it? You had to put this on first Aww. and then, and then grab the. Hey, let's go rob a bank. Someone's dumb. There has no fingerprints. Okay. Yeah, mm. I just men and blacked them. Okay, oh, so. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. Just bloop, that on the thing. Wow. Obviously it's not fully cooked yet, but it That's smells so, so good. It smells freaking amaze balls. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we're gonna cut these. Watch your manos. Or not your manos, your feet. And then <laughs> I'm gonna stick them in this bowl. Time to check the meat. Those gravy grinders are so nice. Oh, gravity grinders. I like no the. I'm I on like... my way. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can cut these. Oh, let's move the bowl so you can so they can see. Okay, I need the bowl though. I need to put them in the bowl. Oh, here, I'll assist. Where's the bone in this guy? So another cool thing, guys, we like to do is we like to put um, a towel oh. underneath your chopping board because then it helps from it slipping, but also mess. So when you got zhuzh, you know, sliming around everywhere, you're able to um, just pick it up and throw it in the wash. Is it easier to see the bone from underneath? Uh, perhaps, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Way easier. That's a tour right there. That's a tour right there. That's a tour. So these are going to get flash fried. 
Let me just grab this Paloma real quick. It looks like it needs to be cactus. Oh, I need cactus. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many hashtags are gonna come up with bicycle, drink, cactus, drink. <laughs> mm. All right. I wish I could say raw pork looks delicious, but it smells really good. Okay. Dunsky. So now our fryer is up to temp. Should we grab a baking sheet to put these in? Baking sheet. Should we? Are we gonna fry them now? Yeah. Because we have to make um, broccoli still. I already put it in there. The broccoli's in. Oh, so I didn't now do my gonna... mushrooms yet. Oh yeah. Let's let's pause. I'm gonna put my mushrooms in. You guys, we know how to cook. <laughs> and I didn't I didn't forget mushrooms on purpose. Because <laughs> mushrooms are my favorite. Uh, but I'm gonna make them taste delicious. Here, love. Scoot over. Uh, to your left. Wanna move the ribs? <laughs> Oops. Sometimes, I'm just gonna throw this in there. That's fine. I think uh, Kale and I would be really great waltz dancers because when we're bouncing around, cooking and stuff, I always find us kind of doing steps together. I'm gonna eat, I wanna, we need more Paloma soon. Is it Paloma time? All right, so my need question more is- Cactus. Cactus? Oh shit. I need more beverage. Well this time, how about you make it? You know the recipe. Can Where? anyone tell Kale what the recipe is and maybe he can make it and follow along? Okay. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> so while he does that, I'm also going to chop up some shiitake mushrooms. You never want to wash mushrooms because they come, become a little rubbery. So a little dirt don't hurt you. Um, but just... A little dirt min- don't hurt. <laughs> just mince them up a little bit so I can put them into the broccoli mix in the oven. Okay. So how much was it of the simple? I, I ended up using agave instead. Oh. How much? Um, so you're going to do... Uh, My head's quarter, chopped off on the screen. Do a half an ounce. Okay, so half an ounce per. Mm-hmm. Here we go. No, half an ounce together, collectively. Oh. I made two drinks in one shake. Well, that's, that's huge. So, that's about half. Depending on the tequila, you could definitely just take a slug of it. It really gets everyone going. And then lime. <laughs> yes, I did half a lime. So just squeeze a half a lime in there full. Okay, where's the squeezer? The squeezer is right there. I got this. He's got it. You know, we haven't checked on barley in a minute. I agree, dirt is not crunchy. <laughs> Barley's right here. <laughs> I'm also gonna do this. I'm taking this grapefruit. I'm squeezing it in there. Squeeze it. You let you, let's you make your. Ah oh, shoot! All right, you got my foot. <laughs> I'm squeezing the grapefruit in there too. Do it. Make it citrusy. Who needs an enamel? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh no. What's happening? I can't see. Please. It's going everywhere. Oh, oh god. god. I did clean the cabinets the other day. It's going everywhere. Okay. Tequila. <laughs> Are you taking a slug of it? No. Good. Because I want to. <laughs> okay. I got this, you guys. I don't know if he does. What's going to happen? Kale's actually a pretty good uh, barista. Can you make one... Make... Can you make one, too, while you're at it? Do you mean make you one? Get your butt over here. You can have one. Who wants one? Brian. Brian, come over here. Okay. We need a, we need a telepathing machine. And we then can... you just shake all that business up, right? Shake it up. Did you put ice in it yet? Yeah. Great. Shaking it up. And then you have to put new ice in the glass because you want it to be crisp. What's on the side of it? Salsa. I don't think it was salsa. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, this broccoli looks so beautiful. Pick me one up and drop it off while you're at it, Brian. Can you recommend a Reposado brand? I might get a bottle. You know uh, what? Well, depending. What's your budget? Yeah. What's your budget? Who asked? Chris. Chris? Yeah, honestly, if you if you want to just spend like 30 bucks, 25, 30 bucks, get like a Casamigos or a... The, the new, actually, the new rock tequila is like super good. What is it? Tullamore? Tullamore? Rock Forgot. tequila. Yeah, the rock made his own tequila. I mean, every celebrity freaking does. Really? But Casa Amigos is good. Um, Casa Dores is really nice and Wait, solid. Wait, do we have any more grapefruit soda? Yes, it is. It's in the door. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's always in, it's, <laughs> it's in a different spot every time. I play hide and seek with ingredients and just everything in that Let's house. see if he can find it. <laughs> and 30 to 50 dollars oh yeah so oh my gosh yeah so honestly don julio oh my goodness don julio is phenomenal but casa amigos is really good yeah casa amigos is good you can go to casa casa dores that's the one that we almost bought today with the deer on it casa dores is good yeah we almost bought that one today um honestly jose cuervo is not even bad either and it's still 100 but we bought the different um jose cuervo it was the the 1800 that's like yeah it's a little bit i'm spilling hold on it's fine you now you have to lick it. All right, cheers. Cactus. All right, cactus. Oh my God, so good. Oh yeah, it's sticky. I think you got a mess on the side of the. I think that's you. Thing when you did it. All right. No. So back to back to guacamole. Okay, guacamole. So now we are the jalapenos, the onions, avocados are in here, and I smush them together like this. Because this is what really opens them up and expresses them. You can see my lime's already cut, my tomatoes are already diced, and I like a rough chop. You can really make it pretty and stuff, but it's gonna go on a chip. Can Nobody you guys hear me crunching in the background? Nobody really cares. But we got really lucky with these avocados. We let them ripen up for uh, 24 hours. Evian? Is it great tequila? Yeah, that's the one that, um, it's an NBA uh, tequila. They they partnered up with, uh, who was it? Um, Michael Jordan, a couple of like the managers. And that ended up being like the next Don Julio and it's much more affordable too. Cool. Really good. Um, I love, my favorite, do you want to grab the bottle? Mm. Class Azul. It is a pretty penny, but it's totally worth it. So, so smooth in the almond taste. It's so, it's got a really cool nutty taste to it. Oh, you got it, there you go. It is, oh, Wait, no, we oh don't no, have that, camera. We don't have that camera up. Oh, it's, every single bottle is hand print, like hand painted, it's so pretty. And you know it's, it's time for tequila, because. Tequila! It's also a bail. Cactus. Cactus. Mmm. <laughs> but it's really good. Thanks for the input. I have the day off tomorrow and we'll be going to the liquor store. Hey. Yes, nice. All right, so let's go back to guac. I'm gonna scoop up my tomatoes, put her in there. Hit number two. Number two. And then I am gonna put some fresh. Camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera, camera one, two. Camera, camera two. Camera two. All right, where's the squeeze at? I'm eating salsa. That's fine, please do. Oh, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me now. <laughs> It didn't happen on camera, so it didn't happen. No. <laughs> All right. So this one I do go a little extra limey because I want my avocado to stay nice and green and pretty. My favorite color. The bottle is so dope. It's all about. I'm all about bottles. Yeah, it is a yeah, cool looking bottle. Yeah, it's a really cool bottle. Another one is um, Casa Dragones. They do like even like their añejo tequila. It looks like it's a blanco tequila, but it's because they do like a. I think it's like a a coal. Uh, like filtration out of it, it's aged, it's just clear. Um, that's super pretty. All right, now I'm gonna grab some cilantro. Did we do the, the mushrooms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I put them in there. And I don't do as much as Kale does, I just kind of give her a trim. So I do about half of that, and then I mince it up. Man, I love cilantro. It's his favorite. Who doesn't like cilantro? I wanna hear, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna stir the pot a little bit. Who thinks it tastes like soap? Mmm. So good. 
So, boop, boop, all right. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> so I'm putting her in there. Now everything's in. You're probably like, dang Jazz. You're just keep layering and layering stuff. You haven't stirred anything. Well, my last process is salt. I like to use the coarse salt. And I'm honestly, I'm probably gonna have cholesterol problems and sodium problems when I get old um, because I love it. So I'm pretty generous. Auntie Rosa doesn't like cilantro. Auntie Rosa? <gasps> I do about a teaspoon or two teaspoons for this batch. And then I just add accordingly. And then another thing, my secret ingredient, it's just chili flakes. Even though we put jalapeno, there's something about chili flakes that are really tasty. And I just do a light little touch. And then I mix her up. I like cilantro, but too much can really kill a dish. Not in this salsa. <laughs> yeah, it depends. It depends. The, the salsa really needs it because there's so much going on. I love it. And Kale can never say no. Yeah, look at it. That's what I like to call the green goddess. <laughs> All right. So, I'm looking I, at Tim this. Tim doesn't like cilantro either. What's going on? Aw. This is a really beautiful freaking avocado. I'm like so ready. Where's the chip? So, I won't eat it with the chip yet. I'm going to try it with a spoon because the chips are salty. Mmm. Oh my god, love. This is so freaking good. I'm gonna eat it with a chip. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well. Good thing I mopped. Ah. Uh, yep. I'm ready. Yeah, we need to have a live audience here. Uh-huh. Because we have a live audience right over there. And you guys can start eating food. We wow. A, Woo! We that have, shit is fire. We have a live audience right over ah. there. Right by the T-Rex. Well, we got barley. But Barley okay. was he was a little too hyper today. So cool. So back to the, the business, the rib business. Yeah, we're gonna do ribs now. And then I will make my sauce. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we've got the deep fryer set to 350 and we're gonna shiggity them. Shiggity shiggity. Higgity higgity. <laughs> giggity giggity. You funny. <laughs> I'm funny. You're funny. Time for Chips and salsa break. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna put these in here. This is really distracting though. I can't be eating chips and salsa and cooking at the same time because I'm gonna forget stuff. We have any more cork stuff? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're hiding. Okay. So, we're gonna cook each rib for about four minutes. Where did the tongs go that I had? <laughs> and he says I hide things. I don't know. You put them right here. No, I did not. Okay, so we got tongs. Uh, cactus. Cactus. <laughs> Next time I'll be there. Yes. Woohoo! He does not like onion, celery, green peppers. Try serranos for more heat. Yeah, serranos. You would like serranos. I like doing serranos in my ceviche. I feel like serranos in my ceviche. It's just, okay. you know who taught me that? Olivia and her mom. So good. So. May I help? Yep, this is hot. So I'm just gonna bloop, this over here. And what do you think, three ribs at a time? Uh, let's start with two, cause they're pretty big. Okay. Woo! She is a sizzling. All right, so what, 602. So 6 -0. There's a lot of oil in that. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, it's spilling. No, it won't like lift it's it. It's spilling. <laughs> <laughs> we did too much oil. Ugh. How do we get it out? Okay, hold on. Well, no, no, here. I'm doing this. No, I got I'm, it. I'll, I get it. it. I'll get some out. Gotta love Pyrex. Don't dump it in the drain. I'm not dumping it. I'm just putting it down. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Party! Right, Oil what? party! <laughs> <laughs> put it in the metal bowl. <laughs> oh my god, this shit's too funny. All right. Wow. All 
All right, love. Uh, pick pick up the. Are you not gonna do it like this? Shit, this is getting everywhere. Oh my god. Was there a fill line? <laughs> there probably was. But Kara doesn't. He More doesn't. is always better. No, it's not. <laughs> Damn, there's fucking grease everywhere. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Nelly says, no more cactus. <laughs> Rory says, I love this. There's How no... to start a kitchen fire. This Luckily, there's... there's no open flames going on right now. And you know what? Off the record. We do one. have... <laughs> we do have a fire extinguisher just in case. Oh. That was for the fireplace, but, you know, you never know. Oh my god. There's literally oil everywhere. <laughs> It's okay. A little. A All little... right, so two more minutes with the shiggities. <laughs> oh my god, it's like dripping down the wall. Oh my god. It's fine. We'll clean it up later. I know, but I just need to right now for the, the ease of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Odd tweaker, I vote more cactus. Rory, <laughs> it's the new cooking reality show. <laughs> <laughs> Keep, what is it, keeping up with the Zimneys in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Wait, did you put a timer on for this? Yeah, 6.06, it'll be ready. Okay. I think we covered how much oil should not be in here. So we're good. Yeah, I put a lot in. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> we put, I put one of these and almost the whole one of these. Oh, my God. So, wait, oh. Why don't, okay, so th let's make this educational now. What's the cool thing about this oil? You can use it Well, yeah, with deep frying, you you will just strain the oil after it's cooled off and you can use it again. Because it's expensive. I mean, it's like 13, 14 bucks for a Especially jug of it. Especially now. Okay, I'm gonna stop cleaning. Sorry. Ooh, those look good. All right, let's grab a baking dish. Yeah. Move your back. So they're gonna go right back into this one because we're gonna toss it. In the sticky sauce. Well, they all fit. Ah! Well, use a. It burns! You guys, hot oil burns. I don't know if you knew that, but. Let's do this. Let's put. Let's put it over here for you. I think we could do more. Yeah, do a third one. But grab them out of the tongs so that the oil doesn't fly everywhere. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Because this is bad. Alright, so everyone can see. Cool. <laughs> oh yeah, they're ripping now. Good. So fun story, guys. Um, I bought a uh, a device where you could put. Don't slip. In. It will turn into new show after. <laughs> this mine? You don't like to use these. <laughs> I bought them because he wanted one, and he still puts them on the counter or on the napkin. Or on the well, that's top. what's there for. No, that's what the napkin not. is there for. It goes here. Yeah, but then I'm gonna knock the camera. No, I, you're the not. The camera's gonna get into the deep fryer at you know some what? point Time when we out. do deep frying. Time I need out. chips. <laughs> we need chips. <laughs> we need guac. Come oh on. Okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna make my sauces while you fry your your pork. Oh, yeah. like everyone gets the story. Yeah, let's do a three, three uh, triple screen. I was gonna say let's do a three way, but I meant triple screen. <laughs> <laughs> triple screen. Cactus. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna do a uh, sweet sesame soy sauce. So key ingredients is sesame, sesame soy. I like to do Additional, cause I really love the taste of sesame oil. It's like super beautiful. Um, I'm gonna do a little honey for the for the sugar. I like the sugar. Um, I'm gonna do ginger, some minced up garlic, and then actually I'm gonna do a little cornstarch. And you're probably like, "What the heck, Jazz? Why?" Well, cause I want to make my sauce thick. Gotta make homemade chips. That's the best. Oh my god, we've made <clears throat> homemade plantain chips before. So, and they were so good. Do we have a quarter cup anywhere? Mm, no. The half of one is a quarter in that middle yeah, of it. Yeah, it's all good. So I'm gonna do uh, a quarter cup of soy sauce. And 
The key thing about mixing in, mixing in cornstarch is that you want it to be ambient, room temperature, before it starts lumping up if it's too cold. So I'm just gonna do about half a teaspoon, so a quarter teaspoon. And I'm gonna mix her up. I'm gonna thicken this bitch up. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, mixing her up, soy sauce, cornstarch. She still looks a little loose. Mm, she needs to go to a party. Ew. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit more cornstarch. <laughs> I'm just trying to be silly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at these things. Yeah, once you put that sticky sauce on there, woo! So mixing it up, and now it's thickening up. Okay, cool. Yeah, that looks good. Let's do a little more. The good thing is, cornstarch doesn't really have much flavor to it. I'm more. putting it on the rusty thing. Thanks, love. You're the best. And it's kind of becoming a little lighter now. So, but yeah, it's got this really cool thickness to it, giving it some more velocity. Vis velocity. Vel viscosity. Viscosity. <laughs> more tequila. With that oil, you know, it'd be super easy. Yeah, we have so much oil. All right. So El Milagro corn tortilla is the only way to make good oh chips. Oh my God, I know. It's hard to get El Milagro out here though. Yeah, it used to be so easy and especially now, like it's with the, the shortages and everything. And with the shortages and, and after the employees the, were protesting, they freaking suck. Yeah. All right, so my sauce is looking thick. Now I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of honey. Yum. You don't really need a lot. You just need a schmidge. A schmidge. A schmidge. And then I'm gonna add some of that oil and I'm gonna use the same side of the spoon because all that honey's stuck in it. And then I'm gonna remove it with my finger. Oop. Do another Send half. you a pic of our ribs and garlic mashed. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Awesome. I would look at it, but I'm using my phone currently for this. That Camera. would be so good. Now, stir her up, stir her up. Now I'm gonna do a little ginger. Oh my gosh, she smells so good. And I'm doing a very full version of a half a teaspoon. And I don't know if you guys notice, I always do everything in small increments, because you, again, less is more, you add and you build. No. With flavors. More is more. <laughs> more is better. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Great. And then I will just do a little tickle. Boop, 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 boop. Sesame seeds just for the fun, cool color of it all. And then we will grab some green onion. I'm gonna start clearing a spot over here for plating. And then, oh, different spoon. I will do, cut the ends off, and then just do a fine little mix. You just move everything so it's off camera. And we don't spill. You see, you're doing a nice little thin slice on the scallions, green onions, mamacas. And then, nope. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is a spider plant. Oh, Laura! That Shout Laura out to Laura! Gave us. Shout yeah. out to Laura. We now have like four or five different more sprouties from that guy. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, that was the one that first sprouted. I have another one sprouting that I'm waiting to get some legs on him. Cool. So last but not least, because my fiance loves spicy. That's me. I'm gonna add some sriracha. And this one, I do the kale. I do the, and just mush it in there. And then that's it. And then that's your sweet sesame soy sauce. It looks so good. And it's time to try. I have these super cute little tasting spoons that I like to use. We need mm. more these ribs. So try. they're try. nice and crunchy looking. Oh yeah. Oh my that's god. Good. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more sriracha. Do it. So this is the sauce for the broccoli. 
And maybe I'll do, I'll do a little garlic. Let's do a little garlic. So we're getting this sauce warmed back up. The sticky sauce. Sticky sauce. Let me get some of that sauce. You can't undiddle that diddle. Oh yeah. That's well, you're good. in cheese land. Hard to get El Milagro tortillas, but you can get feta cheese just fine. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you know, you guys Alfred... inspire me to play properly, even if it's just us. We do that ev almost okay, almost every single meal. What? We do a fun like plating, like a plating for our our oh yeah our meal. Mm -hmm. Jeff's saying you inspire me to plate it every single time, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure we do almost every single time because mm -hmm. it's fun. Okay. It's the towering inferno. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting a little garlic nugget over here, guys. And I'm gonna grab my knife, right? Got a little nugget and I'm gonna press on it. So it becomes a smushed potato. And now I'm gonna peel her off. Now she's naked. And cut that butt off. You don't want it because there's some ickiness in it. And I'm gonna really just slice this so thin, essentially to make like a chip. So the really cool thing is you have a This deep cactus fryer. tastes really good. Oh, we have a very thin, uh, a deep fryer, but I'm gonna fry these. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna work. <laughs> oh yeah, so good. I'm gonna fry this garlic. <clears throat> All right. So once he's done pulling out those chops, we have like a little shiggity spoon. We can do it in. We can do it in this. Yeah, we can do that. I'm gonna fry them off because they get really cool for like a presentation wise, but like they're like become like a garlicky chip. It's delicious. Not the cutest broth, but it's delicious. And then what we ooh line it. We need to line it with a paper towel. Because then you get the grease. Cool. You're gonna put those in. Cool. cool we got cool, cool, three cool. more here. Um, we have a lot of ribs. Who's hungry? Who wants to? Get yeah, some if you're dinner? in Milwaukee, <laughs> come on over. Seriously, there's a lot of freaking food. Okay. It's a towering inferno. I know. <laughs> Watch the Lee press on girl. <laughs> Wait, what? Watch the Lee press on girl, Tim. I don't know what that is. Oh, Tim, we were you watching? He was watching yesterday, right? Um, it was Friday. Oh no, no, Friday. Saturday was Saturday. Yeah, we did. <clears throat> Where is it at? Dun, dun. We love this one. It is so awesome. Like seriously. I can't stop eating these things. They're so good. Okay, so while this is happening, oh, we've got green onion to chop because it's kind of a, it's a garnish. I forgot my spicy, my, my spicy aioli. Can I do that real quick before I forget? Yeah, yeah, and then we'll chop green onion. Yes. So the last one, I like two sauces because we sauce the people. I'm gonna do a spicy aioli and it's actually really easy. So, you get mayo, and I'm not gonna do that much. So I would essentially do a quarter cup. You can see, almost the same size. And I'm gonna get sambal and sriracha. Usually people just use sriracha, but sambal has this really nice mellow tone to it. My driving, I'll be there in 30 minutes. Yay! Nice, Nelly. Oh, uh, Tim, I'll be there in four hours. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Grab a lemon and a zester because zest really shows you some cool power for flavor. So I am gonna grab a tablespoon. So we're gonna do a lot of heat. So I'm gonna do a tablespoon of sriracha. And I'm gonna do a tablespoon of sambal. Mm, sambal's got like this vinegar nest to it. It's like so good. So there's a lot of red, a lot of heat. And now we're going to grab this lemon and I'm going to just squeeze. I do, I got half a lemon and I'm going to squeeze it halfway, not entirely. 
watch for the skin, or not the skin, the seeds, and I'm gonna mix it up. Cool. And now she's doing that, I've got the ribs done being fried, and we've got the glaze, the hoisin sauce, hot. And what I'm going to do is throw that in to, that's a hot thing, careful. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that in this. Great, so he's putting the sauce in there. I'm gonna zest a little in here too, okay, love? Okay. Zest. And then I'm gonna get a hot pad because it's hot. Zest. And I keep touching it. And we're just gonna kind of flip the. Mm, mm -hmm. That's really good. We're gonna flip the ribs in this sticky sauce. I'm gonna put a little cilantro on there to make it happy. Look at that. Can you see that? Hold on, let me get in this one. She's Is she pretty? Who, who says she's pretty? Okay. I'm bringing sexy ribs back. Uh. We're gonna get this over here. We're gonna get ready for starting the plating. Barley's over here, he's probably hungry. Yes. Barley, don't get in there. Okay, come on. Come here. While she's doing that, I'm gonna chop Some green onion. So how are you cutting it? Very thinly. Very thinly. Okay, we got our green onion. And we got our sesame seed. What's going on here? Okay, we're ready for ribs. So we can plate them a couple different ways. If you wanna do like a family style, barley get out of here. Come on, you can't eat that. We can plate them on a board. We'll just kinda of like crisscross them. Hmm, where did the net go? What are you looking for? Good net. I'm gonna fry the garlic while, when you're done plating it, because this is the last step. It'll take seconds. Okay, and we can do them or individually plated. Oh, save a plate for the brack. Broccoli. Yep. We're getting there. Cool. There you go. That's four. I want to do five. Odd numbers, my man. Boom. All right. Cool. So the last touch, we're going to fry some, uh... They can't see that. Oh. No, they can. Fry some garlic. And then we'll do green onion on the ribs. And sesame seed, which... I have over here. Mm. Oh, geez. Someone already undid that. <laughs> All right. Here's a little pop of texture. Boom. Where's that napkin at? Oh, love, can you get me a napkin? Looks so yummy. A Christmas story. Barley gets the ribs. Do you guys <laughs> cook on the road? Yeah, we can cook on the road. Whirl a cam. Woo! It right. takes you 12 hours to drive. It's snowing here. Oh my God. Aw. Okay, so we got the... Let's grab, here. Let's grab the... We'll turn this off. And then here, hold this for a sec, please. Okay. Where's the mittens at? Oh, right here. So, we will do... Hot, 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 hot. Where's the tongs at? Oh, I need clean ones. She needs clean ones. Yeah. 
Can you move the tequila and the tablet, please? Yeah. Thanks, love. And then, all right, so we will do, <coughs> bloop. Just add some of that. And keep her centered. All about the height, give her some, some legs. And then, And then we'll do it, we're kind of doing a family style plating and individual plating. And then we'll shiggity some of these. All right. On here. One second. I'll let you do that. Yeah, so I fried the garlic to make like little chips. And then I put them under a paper towel to absorb the oils. <laughs> but the cool part of this is oh, that. Oh, we got the wrong camera going. Whoop. The cool story about. this one. Oh. Is that. This sauce that I made, the sweet sesame soy sauce, you just kind of, at the very end. Something's wrong with that camera. Oh, oh it's paused. It's okay. No, it's not. Do you want to grab a different camera? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, it's okay. <laughs> What's wrong with this camera? I don't know, it's just malfunctioning. I hate it. It's okay. And then that's it, guys. We just zhuzhed a little bit on there, and then... And that's dinner. Is it working now? I don't know. Sorry, guys, you, you can't see the last fishing touches. <laughs> there we go! Nope, it's not oh, it either. Oh, it's still definitely frozen. Well, here, zoom in with the, the big camera, love. I will. Cactus. Yes, we need a cactus. <laughs> Alright, well that, that camera decided I'm not working anymore. He decided to poop out. But that's why we have this camera. Mm-hmm. Can you move the big bowl? Yeah. You bet. So let's see. Can you zoom in? There we go. So yeah, we use this sweet sesame soy sauce to garnish off on the the broccoli. We put those nice little garlic fried chips on them. We have our sticky ribs. The um, spicy aioli with lemon. It's so delicious. Laura's plant. Our guacamole. Our salsa verde. And yeah. I think this looks freaking delicious. I'm hungry. Let's get some zoom ins. Zoom. Oh, look at the skin on that. She's a crispy one. Oh, yeah. And then, Let's see the broccoli. Oh, the broccoli, yes. A broccoli again. So you got the shiitake mushrooms. You have broccoli, of course. You have the, oops, the sweet sesame soy sauce. You moved with, the owl. Oh, yeah. With our green onion, and you have a little honey and sriracha in it. The spicy aioli is honestly very simple. It's sambal, sriracha, mayo, lemon, and then cilantro on top. This is a nice cooling factor for your palate. You could dip the ribs or the, the broccoli in it. Um, bigger format of all, our green salsa and guac. Very simple. So this is kind of across the world today. We were like, we were really craving chips and salsa and guacamole and then we we're like sticky ribs. We need sticky ribs. And I'm like, well, we need a vegetable. So it's a hodgepodge of the night. Julia Child jealous of, jealous as hell right now. <laughs> mm, looks amazing. Enjoy. Love the show. Open the pod bay doors. Great job again. All right. Well, thanks, you guys. That was fun. We are going to eat all of this now. <laughs> um, this smells really good. I'm going to eat one right now. Should we eat one on camera? Eat one on camera. All right. Grab one. Yeah, let's get in there. Let's see. <gasps> oh, I'm tripping. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Yep. <laughs> yep. Wow. This is like restaurant worthy. Mm hmm. Bro, you wouldn't like this. Uh uh. No, Bradley, you would not like this. I need a cactus with this, though. <laughs> mm. Where's my cactus? What if I said I drank it? 
Did you? No. It's behind the salt. You probably did. Okay, we have to put that one back so I can take pictures. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> Honestly, guys, thank you again for watching and just giving us a sense of... Uh, yeah, Alpha Chicken, smash that like button. No, but seriously, you should go and click the subscribe button. It is completely free. And hit the little bell, and that'll let us uh, let you know when we go live and we post videos. Mm -hmm. Also, check out our Instagram page. I got ribs. And <laughs> Instagram page, which is the same name. It's at Mise en Place, M-K-E. M I S E E N P L A C E. Barley, get out of there. Barley, leave it. <gasps> hey. Hey. You can't have an onion. <laughs> Naughty. Get out of here. I'm Come guarding, on. I'm guarding the trash can. <laughs> Come on. Go. 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 Naughty. Instagram, which is at Mise en Place, M K E, at M I S E E N P L A C E. Like the name with an at in front of it. No, but guys, seriously, this is awesome. And thanks for even just giving us the chance to watch and entertain and be a part of your Sunday night and letting us do all of this because we love cooking and showing everyone how to do it is even better. So come over, have dinner with us. Yeah, we're going to need some live audiences, so we're going to be uh, taking mm -hmm. applications for that soon. Mm -hmm. We just ask that you come over with the empty stomach. I'm ready to rock and roll, have a good cocktail, and have some good food yep. and good laughs. All right, well, everyone have a good night. We're going to go destroy all this food, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye.